You found it, my son. But where? Was it still in the priest's grave? I took it from the clutches of the undead. The cemetery is full of resurrected corpses. No doubt the Blair Witch has worked her demonic spells to raise the dead. Then my dreams were true. Thank you, Mr. Pry. Had this sacred relic passed into the hands of the devil's minions, all would have been lost. Let me teach you how to invoke God's power with this cross. You may well need it. May God be with you, my son. I will pray for your safe return. I see you've made it back from the woods. I found one of the children at Coffin Rock. She's been tortured, and her body is covered with ritualistic markings. We believe the Kedward woman is still alive, and that it is she who has abducted the children. It can't be. Ellie would never harm anyone. No witch would do such evil things. People are simply afraid of the unknown. And they blame witchcraft for that which they can't explain. Perhaps. But it is the only reasonable explanation. The markings on the child are arcane and must surely be born of witchcraft. I need to get inside Ellie's house, Elizabeth. Tell me how to get there. You'll never find her house on your own without a map. I have one. In a spell book at my house. Jonah would never allow me to have it in my possession here. But if you bring it to me, I can show you how to get there. It would be foolish of me to bring a self-confessed witch or spell book. It's of no use to me here. The priest put a ward on my cell that prevents me from using any spells, so I'm powerless with or without it. If you really want to search Ellie's house, you must bring it to me. Very well. I'll bring it to you. Here is the key to my house. Go quickly. What a mess! I'll never find the book in here. God forgive me for placing this book back into the hands of that woman.
Here is your book. Thank you. Yes, here we are. This will show the way to Ellie's house. But before you go, allow me to teach you a simple spell that will help if you happen to run into any trouble. Here, take this bind evil spell box with you. Throw the small stones within the box at your enemy's feet, and they will lose their ability to move for a limited time. I have no use for your spells. My rifle and musket are all the protection I need. You must open your mind, Jonathan. This is no longer a battle of mortal men. If you get into trouble, you must use whatever means necessary to protect yourself. I will await your safe return. The spirit of the wolf has delivered you to me, Jonathan Pry. Please, sit. I am Askaya Gigagi, shaman of the Nanticoke. I know you. You have come to seek the truth of this forest. But you are blind to that which lies outside the realm of your understanding. For generations, our people have offered tribute to the dark spirit Hecatomix, in return for his protection and favor. The white man has no belief, no respect for the dark spirit, and so paid him no tribute. In return for their disrespect, the dark spirit took them as human sacrifices. But this hatred has blinded him, and now he sees all men as white. So it is this dark spirit who is taking the children. Children from one of our villages have disappeared as well. But why children? Why would he not take any available soul as his sacrifice? They are the perpetuating force of civilization. Without children, our mortal race will die out, and Hecatomix will stand alone as the great chief of this world. Why have you brought me here? What can I do? You must walk between three worlds and bring them together as one. Traveling them is the only way to stop the evil forces of the woods. You have already rescued one child. Now you must save the remaining children in order to bring peace to this area. I come from a different world. My understanding of good and evil is far removed from what you speak of. These are stories we tell our children to make them fear God. I came to hunt a witch, and now you speak of three worlds and tell me that I must battle the devil himself. To me, it's obvious that this is the work of the Kedward woman. She took the children for revenge and her demonic rituals. Your stories are unbelievable. Why do you fear the truth? Why do you blind yourself to the greater truth? You, like all white men, fear what you do not understand. The witch is a woman, no more. These events were caused by a much greater power than an old woman dabbling in witchcraft. I'm not sure what to believe anymore, but I know I must follow my instincts. 
They tell me the witch is responsible, and it is her that I must seek out if this madness is to stop. Do what you must, witch hunter. You will need me again, and I will be waiting. You will be powerless to conquer the task at hand until you overcome your fears.